Kerr. Mayor, members of council, and residents of Brigantine. First, I want to express my appreciation to our city manager, Jennifer Blumenthal, our chief financial officer, Chris Johansson, and our auditor, Leon Costello. They have all worked very hard to prepare this legal and balanced budget, and I personally thank them for their efforts. I ran for office on a platform of fiscal conservative. The very first plank in my platform was to initiate a citywide operational audit. My election made it obvious that by 2010, our residents were fed up with the tax and spend attitude in Brigantine. Although taxpayers were generally satisfied with the level and quality of services offered on our island, they were extremely frustrated by ever-increasing costs and continuing hire, the continuing hiring of expensive employees. When I and other members of council met with the city auditor last year to discuss the budget, he made it crystal clear that we had already cut out the paper clips and the paper from the budget and that the only way to reduce our budget was to reduce the number of employees, what we pay them, and their benefits. Last year, our auditor told us, next year will be even worse. He was right. Last year, in light of our auditor's forecast, Mr. Palella and I made a number of recommendations about eliminating or combining certain unfilled salary ordinance positions, eliminating or changing the structure of other positions in the construction office and the CER departments, as well as other cost reduction measures. These recommendations were ignored. Instead of making the recommended and necessary cuts, the mayor announced a hiring freeze. And even the freeze was not effectively implemented. The hiring freeze was interpreted to allow hiring of people to replace those who were leaving, rather than allowing the size of government to shrink through attrition. Had the actual hiring freeze been followed, then we would, have, we would be in much better shape this budget year. Indeed, if two $70,000 per year employees left city employment in 2009, 10, and 11, and had not been replaced, we would now have over $2 million in reserves instead of only 600000 Now we find ourselves in much worse shape with a reserve that will possibly not see us through this year's tax appeal season. And if that is true, we will have to bond for the loss of revenue next year. I have spoken to a number of officials in other communities. Of course, no one really could foresee the economic downturn that began in 2006. But they have told me that they were certainly aware of the recession and its effect on their community's municipal budget by the end of 2008. At that point, some communities began to take appropriate action. Other, less well-managed communities, including Brigantine, did not. I believe that even though those in power in Brigantine knew or should have known about the recession's effect on future budget, Brigantine City Council agreed to long-term expensive employment contracts after that date. We continue to give longevity pay, a practice that every member of council has deemed unnecessary. I believe that there are small steps that this council could take to change the culture of tax and spend. Even these small steps would indicate to the people of Brigantine that this council values taxpayer dollars, practices fiscal responsibility, and that the culture has finally changed. Unfortunately, I suspect that we will have to wait for a democratic majority on council to change the tax and hire culture in Brigantine. So I will vote against adoption of this year's budget because it is simply unfair to taxpayers 
and not in the long-term interest of our island. I believe that we can and should do better. Our own auditor's advice was ignored by our previous city manager, who was the primary author of this year's budget. There is not one significant cut in the budget from last year other than the very significant and scary cut to our surplus. As a member of council for the past 16 months, I should have spoken out even more vigorously over the past year about my concerns. I am pleased that our new manager agrees that Brigantine requires an outside, independent operational audit to determine the true needs and appropriate administrative and wage structure for our police, fire, public works, and white collar professional staffs so that we may continue to, look, to deliver the best services possible to make Brigantine thrive, not just survive. I now call on all members of council to immediately instruct the manager to institute a true hiring freeze that would allow the number of employees to decrease through attrition. Until that happens, I vote no to the adoption of this budget.